Welcome back to Chamber Exchange, the TV show. I want to thank our sponsor, Bank Hometown, who helps make the show happen. Uh, with this segment, we've got two guests uh, who are going to talk about the Women's Initiative, which is having its fifth annual Power of the Purse event. And Emily McCann is the Women's Initiative Director uh, at the United Way of Central Mass, a great partner uh, with so many organizations, including the Chamber, on lots of different really important programs and initiatives in the region. And Sherry Pitcher, no stranger to the <laughs> Chamber, having been our first and inaugural <laughs> Director of Business Recruitment. That's right, that's uh, right. Sherry Pitcher is now the Senior Director of Marketing and Business Development at Fontaine Brothers and the Chair of this event. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome back, both Thank of you, you because you. you've been on the show yeah. and, and different, Happy to be here. Uh, on different issues. Uh, uh, but the, the Women's Initiative, uh, Emily, maybe you could yeah. start us off. W what is it? And, and uh, fifth means it's going well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks for having us on, yeah. Tim. So the Women's Initiative is a group of the United Way of Central Massachusetts, and it's all about igniting positive change for girls. And we do that through philanthropy and women's leadership. And we're focusing on girls age 10 to 14, those pivotal, those transitional mm -hmm. middle school year years for girls. And we do that through funding of girl-only programming with organizations I'm sure you're very familiar with, Girls Inc., Boys and Girls Club, Latino Education Institute, many others. But we also run our own financial literacy programming mm -hmm. for middle school girls called Dollar Scholars. And we engage professional women to volunteer their time as mentors and teach girls about budgeting, um, credit, mm -hmm. savings, and starting to have their dreams and and thoughts for life after high school. And actually we are about to be celebrating our 20th anniversary, the Women's Initiative, starting July 1, which we're really excited about. Um, and over the years have raised over $6 million wow. for this effort and engaged and supported over 14,000 girls right here in central Massachusetts. Wow, that's that's tremendous. And you know, I, on so many different levels, when we talk about you know education and impacting uh, young people, there's always a kind of a focus on, on high school aged. And, and as we kind of learn more from study and research that, you know, to really have that impact and, and allow them to make informed decisions, you really got to start in seventh and eighth grade on so many different levels. So uh, Sherry, chairing it, you've been yeah. involved, uh, you know, what, what's, what, what's your rationale or motivation <laughs> behind this? So um, I've been involved with the Women's Initiative, got started through the Dollar Scholars Program, which has been a wonderful, wonderful experience. I started off as a mentor and then became a facilitator. Um, and just we wanted to support mo more programs throughout the region. And this Power of the Purse event was a great way for us to you know, elevate our profile in Central Mass and also have like a fun event. So we've really been focusing on a lot of networking events for our members um, and also generating some don donations and revenue to help support uh, the important program that we do. So this is our fifth annual Power of the Purse um, event. We are holding it at the New Mercantile Restaurant mm -hmm. downtown. Really excited about the venue. Um, we like to do it in new and exciting um, venues, so we're holding it there. It is June 7th at uh, 5 p.m. So, we, and we have a silent auction. We have all of our, our purses are donated and we raise money to support um, all the programming. So it's gonna be a really exciting event. And you know, being able to have events in person, uh, you know, I think people are thrilled Rich. about uh, the good weather, great venues, new venues like Mercantile, mm -hmm. uh, you know, herd immunity being, <laughs> being reached. Uh, so, uh, but you know, because of some of those reasons, you know, uh, you know post COVID, I mean, we, we've seen this incredible spike and uh, some of the data suggest, uh, you know, more of an impact on young women in terms of the mental health issues and challenges uh, that that uh, everyone has experienced during COVID. So that's a piece of this here oh, as absolutely. well, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, middle school girl, it's a tough time. Um, Period. Boys and, you know, or and, girls, and, you know, right, I think right. yeah. anyone doesn't have good memories <laughs> usually from middle school time um, for a reason. And, and for girls particularly, that is generally uh, a time where they're, you know, looking at their self-esteem, their body image, a lot of that comes out. And then you add things like the pandemic. Um, there's a rise in violence and bullying going on as well. Mm -hmm. um, but mental health is definitely a concern with young people. Um, the anxiety, depression of being alone and isolated during the pandemic, away from their friends, um, and just dealing with the stress of that pandemic, which was tough for everybody, but we're seeing definitely a rise in that for middle school girls. So these programs of the Women's Initiative Support are ever more important to really give girls an opportunity to have a safe place to voice what they're going through and get some support from mentors. Okay, and so, uh 
the fifth, Sherry mentioned June seventh from five to seven p.m. at Mercantile mm -hmm. Center. So walk the, myself and the viewers through the purse thing, and I, I think oh, we've okay. got so some we, things we have to some show. <laughs> Make, make great gifts too, Tim. So these are donated. <laughs> so these are donated, yeah. yeah. So we have about 50 bags that are donated to us, to the, to the Women's Initiative. And we they're, they're, um, there's a silent auction at the event. And so it's kind of like shopping. So the, our, our guests come and have um, some drinks and some food and are able to bid, bid on the bags. And it's usually very, very active bidding. We also have some packages that we're including. Um, so we have some bags that have gift certificates, they have wine. So it's not just the purses. Sometimes we have some other um, fun enhancements to the bags as well. So got it, got it. Maybe it's about some, 50 some bags that we get 50 bags, yeah. some, some packages and some surprises. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Right? Well, and what do we have here? <laughs> This is a Kate. This is this is a Kate Spade tote bag. Yeah. So Kate Spade. Okay. Wonderful. And then great color yeah. too. Tote, tote means you can get a lot of stuff in. It. That's right. right. That's okay. right. That's exactly yeah. right. And it this is a, a Calvin Klein fun bag. Yeah. 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 Calvin Klein with a fun floral design. These are a little teaser for what's to come. But they're, as Sherry said, over 50 bags and packages. And the packages are, are unique every year, but we like to feature women-owned businesses, and especially locally. So we have a lot of gift certificates to restaurants mm -hmm. or, or um, shops. Um, there's going to be a hiking bag this year with a lot of hiking um, items to get out on the trails. There's usually a beach bag, that type of thing, too. Mm -hmm. So there's a little something for everybody, different mm -hmm. price points, different types. And men are welcome to come, too. Absolutely. So we wanted to make sure you know that you well, are you, invited. Well, you mentioned yeah, good, great gifts, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, yes. Go it all goes to a good cause. All goes yeah. to a good cause. <laughs> uh, and, and in terms of way, in addition to uh, people bidding on the bags, tickets, are there sponsors? How, how, how does it, the event work? So it is way. open to anyone to come with a suggested donation of $50, but to be a member of the Women's Initiative is $100 annually, so we encourage that as well for people to join mm -hmm. us. And we have an incredible amount of sponsor and corporate commitment to our anniversary coming up. We have Country Bank and Reliant Medical Group who have stepped up to be anniversary year-long sponsors, and for this event particularly, uh, it's a long list, but uh, highlights are Clark University, um, Seven Hills Foundation, UMass Chan, Medical School, UMass Memorial Health, St. Gobain, and of course the Worcester Chamber yeah. as you. a marketing sponsor. So thank you for your we support. We appreciate your support. Well, we're happy to you know use our, our platforms to get the, the word out, uh, and you know some of the things that you talked about talked about Emily in terms of a focus you know with with middle you know middle school aged uh, young women are, are really important in terms of you know their financial empowerment, their ability uh, to, to open their own businesses uh, uh, and, and just, you know, build that financial security that's really, that's really critical. Absolutely. We also have um, some great um, honorary co-chairs. I'm sure you know Tim more than anybody that we have a great um, collaborative business community here in, in, in Worcester and philanthropic community as well. And so we are honoring some of our philanthropic leaders through this event with our RA co-chairs. Uh, we have Kim Salmon with the Hanover um, Insurance Foundation, Carolyn Stempler. Um, who did a great job running the Greater Worcester Community right. Foundation. Uh, Monica Thomas Bonnick, who um, manages the Webster Five Foundation, and Kelsa Zareski, my friend Kelsa from Reliance. So we're really excited to honor these philanthropic leaders um, here. That's great. Great, this great event. leaders, role yeah. models, people Absolutely. who've uh, led in, in a variety of different ways in the community. And, and that kind of reinforces the whole mentor, mentor Right, and piece, these foundations do, do wonderful work here in Central Mass, too. So we wanted to acknowledge that um, through this event. Great. So. Uh, June seventh. June seventh. June seventh. Five to seven. At the Mercantile. At the Mercantile, which is uh, the Merc. Yep. The Mercantile, Merc downtown. Uh, upstairs. It's gonna be upstairs. City Square uh, area, Mer Mercantile. It's a new new restaurant, so uh, that's got some a great venue, oh. rooftop deck. That's where we'll be. Exactly. And, and that's where people. you can find us. <laughs> and to get this a website where people can go. Yep. So unitedwaycm.org. Go to the Women's Initiative pages. Um, we have a whole list of. Um, information registration is already live there on the website or go to our Facebook page at WOM Initiative CM and you can find the details there as well. Great. Well, thank you, Emily, and thank you, Sherry, for being with us. Thank and, you. Uh, I'm sure you're going to have a successful event and knock on wood. The, the weather will be great so people can enjoy that outdoor Absolutely. Deck. We look forward to seeing you there. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I was just going to say that. Do you want us to hold this Kate Spade bag for you? I'll with my wife and two daughters. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, yeah. We have plenty yeah. for you. So. Well, thanks for being with us. Thank hold you. on. We're going to come uh, for our final segment in just a moment of this edition of Chamber Exchange. These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely 
with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential. This is Radio Worcester. Local talk, local news, local events. We got it, and we've got opinions that you're going to want to hear. That Worcester will be thought of and spoken about. We're live every morning, 6 to 10 a.m., and if you can't catch us then, you can find us online day and night at RadioWorcester.com. This is your town. This is your morning show. Talk of the Commonwealth with Hank and Ben.